Our first responders were slammed with one crime scene after the next this afternoon. Each call another shooting. NBC 15's Nicole Fierro has the latest in each investigation that we're learning about tonight. Greg and Kim, there were three crime scenes all this afternoon. Two in Mobile reported within an hour of each other. The third in Pritchard. Now, if we look over here, you can see the first crime scene here. Westchester Drive. That's where police say a woman in her 40s was shot and killed in front of her home. We do have some some positive leads at this point that we are trying to follow up on, though, that will hopefully we'll be able to take the person of interest into custody. While police actively search for a person of interest, neighbors describe the terrifying turn of events they witnessed this afternoon. Some say they saw their neighbor caught in an argument that they believe was over a cell phone with a man and his girlfriend interrupted by the sound of three gunshots. Witnesses tell us their neighbor and her dog were shot. The dog is still alive. At this time, police have only confirmed that a woman was killed. Within the same hour, another shooting was called in. This one in Midtown. If we look over here, you can see it on Holcomb Avenue. According to witnesses on scene, a man drove up and flagged down a nearby business owner claiming to have been shot in the right of his jaw. Police interviewed the man on scene and he was taken to the hospital by ambulance. The injury did not appear to be life threatening. Police have not released any information on how this man was shot or who a possible suspect may be. Moving on now to Pritchard, several viewers called in reporting a shooting. They tell us it happened this afternoon on Victory Street in Pritchard. Now we've reached out to the public information officer as well as multiple officials within the department asking if anyone was hurt, how many shots were fired, if anyone is in custody or if there's any information the public should look out for. However, none of our requests or calls have been returned at this time. Mobile's police chief did tell us with three shootings transpiring all within a short amount of time, they're trying their best under these trying circumstances. As soon as we hear more information on any of these cases, we'll be sure to bring you the latest details. Greg and Kim, 